Hello everyone and welcome back to another Dawson video. Today I'm going to be reviewing two films. Six Below and the new Transformers, which was Transformers 5 The Last Night. I'm going to start with Six Below because um, my mom knew who, um, the one of the producers to the film. The film was honestly a really good film. It, its lighting was on point. There was nothing I could truly poke fun of this film. If you want to watch a motivational film, this is the film to watch. It will make you cry. It, it even made me cry, and I'm really hard to crack. And if a film can make me cry, it's honestly a good film. Because it takes a lot to make me cry. So, if I were to give a 6 below, a 10 out of 10, and out of a scale of 10 on lighting, I give it a 9 out of 10. For cinematography, I give it a 10 out of 10. For acting, I give it a 10 out of 10. Because this film was on honestly very good six below is a good film i really recommend you see it it's not out in theaters but it is on demand so please check out your on demand today and please check out the film it was honestly a really good film and it really piqued my interest and it kept me guessing what was gonna happen next to the protagonist so I really hope you guys go check out that film. It's a really good film and I really enjoyed it. Now here's the next one. The Last Night. Transformers The Last Night was honestly a good film. It, it was a Michael Bay film. Of course it's going to be a good action film because it's Michael Bay, right? But there were some problems with it that I found. Usually Bumblebee does not talk in any other film. Except for the first one, correct? But they brought back his voice, which kind of disturbed me because it did not sound exactly like in the first one. It kind of disturbed me that it did not sound exactly the same as it did in the first film. Since it did not sound exactly the same, I'm deducting points to the from the film and gonna give it a well, eight out of ten on my scale of go watch it because that was uh, I was not very pleased about how they changed Bumblebee's voice drastically it wasn't a drastic change it was just a different tone of voice but I liked the Bumblebee from the first film's voice because that voice was a lot more rugged and sounded like he was more mature of a Autobot than any of the others. It actually put him into the leadership position with that voice instead of his newer voice. Yet he d did age with time and I can understand why they changed his voice, but I would have preferred it to have been the original voice from the first film at the very last end scene. Honestly, the film was a really good film, and it really piqued my interest. I was always wondering what was going to happen next, and like every good film, it should always keep you on the edge. This film continued to do that throughout the whole film, making you wonder what was going to happen next, and what was going to happen to the protagonists, or happen to anyone else in the film. There was a lot of action scenes, which I am okay with, but to be truly honest, it's a really good film. I'd bring its lighting a 10 out of 10, its acting a 9 out of 10, and finally, but not least, last, its cinematography a 10 out of 10. So please go check out these two films, and I hope you enjoyed this video of my review on Six Below and Transformers The Last Night. And to be 
truly honest. I hope you guys check out these movies. They're really good movies. I don't mean to poke fun of most films that I review, but the main purpose I do reviews of movies is so that you can have something to go back on. But remember, this is only my opinion. Your opinion outranks my opinion. So if you want to go see the film, be my guest. It's your opinion over mine. Everyone is entitled to their own opinions, and this is just one out of many. Please go check out the films and watch them and re and tell me what you thought of the film. If you feel like leaving a comment, please leave a comment down below. I read my comments in the next 30 minutes of after I upload and I will be replying to any comments after 30 after 30 minutes are up after I upload a video I will no longer be replying to comments on that video after that video is uploaded I will only reply for 30 minutes after the upload remember Please check out all my other fellow Bronies channels like Lightning Bliss, Keyframe, and Eliora. They are really cool reviewers of the My Little Pony franchise and I really enjoy them. Please don't forget to support Brony Buck as well. He is one of my closest friends and, I, and he's really struggling right now. So offering a dollar is really helpful right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And remember to punch that like button like a badass. And I hope to see all of you in another video. And remember everyone, hugs all around. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope that you will go and see these films. Or rent these films on demand so that you can watch them. And please comment back within the next 30 minutes after any uploads. If you have any questions or ideas for new videos and content so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'm finally gonna wrap this up by saying you're all wonderful people and thank you for supporting me for this long I'd like to thank every single subscriber for subscribing to my channel and I'm gonna end the video here so have a fantastic rest of your days and I hope your days are filled with smiles because you only have a bad day when you say you're having a bad day. Please enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye.